Hello. My name is Alex, and I speak in the name of Jesus. Not the Jesus. Just Jesus Martinez Blanco, who wrote this code, and he is sharing it in case it's interesting for you. Schrodinger solver is an Igor procedure to solve numerically the Schrodinger equation in its simplest form, that is, for one-dimensional potentials that do not depend on time, we will then obtain the so-called stationary solutions of the time-independent Schrodinger equation in one dimension. Installation is as simple as opening the procedure, and after compiling it, we simply invoke the menu macros, Schrodinger solver. In this panel, you will be able to define a potential and to input a range of energies where the stationary solutions are to be found. The procedure comes with two simple examples, harmonic oscillator and square well, but you can also define your own potential as we will see later. Just to start, we stick to the harmonic oscillator potential, which is here displayed in blue. This input value will determine the units of the quantities involved and the energy scale in the calculation. For convenience I choose here 0.5, but you are free to choose any other energy scale. To actually solve this potential, we should simply input a range of energies, like for example, between 0 and 10. Pressing enter will fill in this list box with the eigen energies found within this range. We can then display the corresponding wave function by simply clicking on energy. The square of the wave function, which represents the probability distribution, is also displayed here in green. By the way, the wave function is obtained numerically integrating the Schrodinger equation with the Numerov's method, named after Boris Numerov who developed in 1927 a method for solving the class of second-order differential equations in which the first derivative is missing. That's exactly our case. The energies of the stationary solutions, also called eigen energies, are attained with the shooting method. That is, within a certain range, consecutive energies are tried, and for every energy, the number of crossings of the wave function with the x-axis are counted. The eigen energies are those in which the wave function changes from having n crossings to having n plus 1 crossings. Due to the limited precision that any numerical method has, the integration of the wave function always ends up in instabilities beyond a certain point. To avoid this, the integration is done in both directions in space, from left to right and from right to left. The position of the matching point can be set with this slider. Let's now try to define a new potential. In this pop-up menu, we choose Define New Potential and we are asked for a number of inputs necessary to create the potential. First you give a name, which must be a valid Igor wave name, the number of points, the space domain with a minimum and a maximum x, and the mathematical expression that defines the potential. Let's put for example, a step function located at x equals 3. After pressing continue, we are all done to calculate the eigen energies. Each time you update either this box, this box or this box, the solver will be invoked. Here are some examples of wave functions for different energies. Finally, you can also import a potential from an existing wave. In the pop-up menu, select copy from wave and a data browser panel appears where you can select your wave. Here, for example, I choose this wave. A prompt will ask you to give it a name, and the potential will be imported. Let me call it test, for example. All the potentials are stored in a single folder, called Numerov Potentials, as you can see in the data browser. That's all for the moment. I hope you enjoy, and I would be thankful for any suggestion, comment or bug fixing that could improve this procedure. Thanks for watching.